Neil Battaglia, Neilian.com. Here's how to find the area of an isosceles triangle. So an isosceles triangle has a height, which may or may not be given, but it has two sides, which are equal. It also has two angles that are equal. What you can do is you can split the base in two. So let's say we have these sides, three, three, and two. Two that are equal, and the bottom, which is a little bit smaller. We can divide the bottom in two, which gives us a right triangle that has one as the base, so half of the two. And then from there, we have a right triangle, and we have two of the sides, the hypotenuse and the base. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You could probably use Sokotoa if you had some angles, but in this scenario, I'm saying that you have the three sides to start with. So let's go with the Pythagorean theorem. So the height is something that would be convenient because the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, if you have both those things. But here we're trying to find the height. So h squared plus one squared is equal to three squared h squared plus 1 is equal to 9. We're going to subtract the 1 from both sides. We're going to get that h squared equals 8. Then we're going to take the square root of both sides. You can factor the 8 as being a 4 times a 2. So the square root of 4 is 2, and you're left with the square root of 2. So h is equal to 2 times the square root of 2. Not a really clean number, but that's OK. So the area is going to be 1 half the base times the height. The base is equal to 2, which is the entire triangle, not just the half that's the right triangle, but the entire triangle. So 2 times root 2 is the height. So you're going to have 1 half times the base times the height, 1 half times 2 times 2 root 2. You can kind of just cancel out the 1 half and the 2 pretty quickly. And you're left with 2 root 2 in whatever units you have for the lengths of the triangle, those units squared. So either meters squared, feet squared, inches squared, centimeters squared, something like that. So that's how you can find the area of the so that's how you can find the area of an isosceles triangle if you have the three sides. There's also an interesting method that I just saw recently that I saw from Silicon Valley High School on YouTube where you can find the area of any triangle. It doesn't have to be an isosceles triangle. So it could be what we call a scalene triangle, a triangle with three different sides. Leave a comment with a question about math or physics, and I can probably help you.